Have you ever had an unusual hobby? Nice black dress. Funerals again, huh? And you're broken inside. Get over it. Ghoul. Puritan. Vampire. Pollyanna. You know what I'm in the mood for? Afraid to ask. What about like a little funeral? Why don't you go rent Terms of Endearment or Steel Magnolias? You were right about that funeral yesterday. Probably shouldn't have gone. There was um, an accident. No. The ring just don't say slipped word. off in my hand. You were trespassing at the funeral. I thought we could just return the ring. We cannot return the ring to the dead girl. Now you're gonna have to get it and give it back to her fiance or whoever you like and explain yourself. Well, how am I gonna do that? How'd you find me? That's funny, I don't even know you. But it feels like you're the only friend I've got. Tyler, I have to apologize to you. It's been a terrible week. So if you're gonna say anything at all that's gonna make me feel worse, even just a little bit worse, can I wait? Well, I've uh, met someone. A romantic someone? I don't know. <laughs> what does it matter if we met through a mix-up? A mix-up standing a little softly, don't you think? How did you know, Anna? We uh, took a class together. What sort of class? Uh, art class. You're a painter? Apparently. It would never have worked anyway. The entire thing was built on a bald-faced lie. I need your help with, um, shopping. Shouldn't you just go to Goss or us and be done with it? I guess it's never a good time to say that you're officially a suspect in your fiancé's death. I can't believe you're dating a murder suspect over me. <laughs> Don't trust him. Don't believe a word he says. That is the first rule. Now, do you have any evidence of his misdeeds, or is it just a general feeling? Have you ever dated somebody and it just wasn't quite right? Is there any other way?